नमस्ते माय नेम इज अदिति शर्मा एंड वेलकम टू विजिट हीरा जस्ट इमेजिन व्हाट इफ यू गेट वन सच करेंसी नोट व्हिच प्रूव्ड टू बी सो लकी फॉर यू दैट इट विन यू इन एंटायर कैसिनो वाओ इट्स गोइंग टू बी आवर ओनली एक्सप्रेशन राइट नॉट द कैसिनो बट समथिंग नॉट इवन लेस देन दैट इज व्हाट द साइंटिस्ट्स आर ट्राइंग टू विन ओवर सिंस द पास्ट फ्यू इयर्स यस यू गेट्स इट राइट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट वन थ्योरी व्हिच वुड एक्सप्लेन इट ऑल we have already got a number of theories which are heading in this direction and one such is the string theory now since we have already spoken a lot about it in the previous video so i'm not going to get into it much detail for those who want to watch the video link is in the description box below and one such theory is the loop quantum gravity that is lqg which looks like is giving a very strong competition to the string theory these days Where the string theory begins with the quantum field theory and try to add relativity to it, the LQG on the other side it begins with the relativity and attempt to add quantum features to it. We all know that according to Einstein, gravity is not a force; it's a geometry of space-time. This fabric of space-time is continuous, but according to LQG, it is something which we call as discrete in mathematics. Little complicated, right? Let's make it simple. This is a sweater. If you look at it from a far away distance, then it looks like very smooth. But as we get near to it, then it has got threads, loops, and nodes, and that is actually the core of LQG. But how? Imagine that you have a fishing net in your hand, and these finite loops they actually make up the space time. And the node at the intersection of two is equal to one quanta. Remember, we spoke about the discrete nature of LQG. Here it is. It says that unlike in a string theory where space is the background at which these strings vibrate here in LQG we say that space time itself is quantized which means that everything here has a minimum possible value be it distance area volume even the time but wait we were at a fishing net right where the node is equal to one quanta the loop in between shows a two dimensional area and a large quantity of these spins and nodes make up our spin network so what we know by now is space is the geometry of a spin network but where is time The movement of a spin network is time in LQG. But wait, here is a question again: that how will that movement be caused? So for that, we have got two things. Firstly, we know that everything here in LQG is quantized, which is basically discrete, unlike the Einstein said it to be continuous. Here, time does not flow like a river; it runs like a digital clock, with every single tick equals to 10 raised to the power minus 43 seconds. Means the movement we talked about occurs once in every 10 raised to the power minus 43 seconds in the spin network. And secondly as you get some fishes into the net its shape is distorted so similarly as some mass or energy is added to the spin network its shape is distorted too the result in the movement of a spin network which is something we call as time here and these two together make up the definition for gravity now here are two things we talk about in lqg first is the background independence unlike in a string theory where space is the background at which these strings vibrate here in lqg we say that space time itself is quantized which means it is also going to vary which clearly imply to the fact that it is not something at which other factors can depend upon it's very much like making a patterns with glue on a plastic sheet once the glue has got dried even if you remove the plastic sheet the pattern would still be there and the second one is the diffeomorphism invariance which says that what happens at one point in a space depends only on in that point in a space not on any other point we have come really far now and lqg sounds to be so good so where is the problem then when we attempt to unify the particle physics with relativity then we can't say anything with 100% precision as they both break at singularity not only this even the math of lqg is hardcore and it still doesn't include the dark energy and the dark matter Also LQG says that since different components of light travel with different velocities so they must have different energies as per the relation E is equals to SC by lambda which means that the one which is propagating with lower velocity must have a higher energy and a higher velocity as compared to the one which is propagating with a higher wavelength and this difference of velocities of the two different components is unimaginably small but when we made observations on the later activities of a gamma ray burst then this point of lqg was proved to be wrong as all the components of the light waves are found to be propagating with the same velocity despite of all this what is still makes it a very good contender of the string theory is that the strings which we talk about in the string theory have not yet been confirmedly detected and we need to perform a series of experiments for lqg as the idea of distortion of energy quantum of space time diffeomorphism invariance and background independence can't be avoided so let's just sit back with a bucket of popcorns and see who win the race